Got out of the shower, combed the hair, oiled up the beard, groomed as well as an old man is going to be groomed. Tonight, just pretty much a J. Crew button down linen, light blue linen shirt, a sport coat that has 3% lycra in it, so it is, it kind of stretches with me. This is a 42 regular, uh, down from a 48 regular, believe it or not. Uh, sleeves are buttoned, and I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, well, okay, let's see, one, two buttons unbuttoned, so I'm not like, you know, I'm not doing like that kind of thing. I'm just, so it'll be like this. Sat more of a Saturday night look. Uh, networking would be like this, like that. Now, I've gotten out of wearing ties quite a bit. Let me just back up a little bit. Just not a fan of wearing ties much anymore. I don't like that. So I have about 25 pocket squares and it's just a weird, it's an addiction. When you start doing pocket squares, um, it's hard to go back to a tie, but if you've seen some pictures of me in stu various studios, I'm kind of like the pocket square guy. So this is just one of my pocket squares right here. It's kind of a, basically it's a blue and kind of a silvery white paisley. Can you see that? Nothing crazy. I'll show you a couple different things that you can do. Fold it in half then in thirds and you can literally just put the pocket square in like this and have it straight across just kind of like parallel lines to the, the pocket like that you can do that that's one way of doing it another way of doing it is take opposite corners bring them together mismatch them like don't bring the corners like don't don't make them perfect. Make one lower than the other. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. And I always like folding it like this. Okay. Now what you're getting is kind of like this double layer look. Don't worry about what it looks like on the bottom. Can you see the double layers there? And I'll shove that in there like this. And that's popping up just a little bit more. But there is a more of a double layer and it stays up by itself. So that's one way of doing it. Tonight, I'm going to be doing kind of like this bloom thing. So take the corners, bring them together. Okay. Fold it, in, like make you make a triangle. Fold that in half and make another triangle. Okay, so you have that. One of the things you can do is you grab it like this. Okay. Go like this. Okay. And you pull it through. And you end up with like this flower petal, like this orchid kind of look. I'm not going to do that. I'll show you what I'm going to do. But I'm still going to grab the middle. That's one way of doing it. Actually, let me just show you how that looks. Okay. Pull it through. And you pop that in. Like that. That's one way of doing it. I like it to be a more asymmetrical kind of thing. So I find the middle and just grab it like this, okay? I'm not folding it. So, and then I just do that circle thing and go like that. Bring it back up and it's random what happens to it. And you can spread it out, make it more textured or whatever. I like it the width of the pocket like that. So that's probably the look that I'm gonna have tonight. I don't like it coming over and hitting the lapel. So there you go. Just remember, there's no rules and there's so many options when it comes to pocket squares. Maybe you should consider pocket squares as an option for yourself. I think you'll like them. It's a great look.